so hello all my topic for seminar is google driver list ka it started uh, here is content for my topic uh, okay introduction so basically the name suggest all about the technology which is without driver uh, in market there are too many names for this uh, technology or this car uh, like uh, autonomous vehicle in short av connected and autonomous autonomous vehicle cav driverless car robo car or robotic car uh, yes this is all or uh, this start with a small hu human input like start car and then uh, set a de uh, destination and it it will automatically uh, reach to your uh, destination without any uh, input from human so here it is uh, uh, how it's work uh, for driving this car by computer it requires some sensors to analyze the surrounding of the car so there are some sensor which is help to help to driving this car like uh, radar lidar sonar gps odometer and inertial measurements units and the advanced computer obviously for uh, 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 better output okay uh, next uh, there are some technology used by uh, google or many companies for this uh, like a uh, hybrid navigation homogeneous and decoupling vehicle communication system reprogrammable uh, digital trace and last one is modularity so here, here is the literature survey given by google and under the car bonnet there are three main three main constraint constituent which is help to uh, drive safe car uh, first one is google hardware sensor and artificial intelligence so google maps maps for advance notification of things like landmark traffic traffic signals and light lights and it is a key component of the uh, car okay next one uh, there are some hardware sensors like uh, uh, lidar video camera position estimator distance sensor and aerial and computer okay the lidar so lidar is a, a, a heart of this technology because it show, uh, it shows uh, it a car can see any all things from this Uh, lidar a lidar instrument consists of a laser scanner and specialized G, uh, gps receiver this is the thing uh, next one is video camera this sensor is used for detecting detecting upcoming lights uh, we can say uh, to read all these things uh, car uses camera next one position estimator an ultrasonic center mount, mounted rear wheel rear wheel of car to monitor or to detect position of the car relative to 3d map and it, uh, uh yeah this the next one uh, distance sensor there are four radar mounted mounted on both front and rear bumper so uh, and also carried by autonomous vehicle uh, it is useful for uh, how much distance from another car or Uh, any sign, 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 or pass. It is useful for these things. Uh, distance sensor. Next one, aerial. It is used for. It is used for readings from the car. Uh, onboard instruments are combined with the information received from GPS satellite to make sure car know exactly where it is now. And uh, it is very important. Next one, a computer. Uh, we can say is a brain of car to analyze all the information and then they take action for for next moment. Okay. Um, and a very important thing is uh, unspoken assumptions of road user is in needed to understand by the computer. So all this thing done by the all this sensor using by uh, uses this car. Uh, a uh, main thing artificial intelligence artificial intelligence provides autonomous car with real time decision okay and all the sensor are connected to artificial intelligence software in the car and has input for google artificial intelligence simulates the real time decision and human precision control actions such as acceleration steering and brake all these thing the main sorry the main goal of ai is to drive 
passenger safely and legally to to his destination so i want to show one video for this for a moment Self-driving vehicles can detect obstacles and stop if necessary. With the help of sophisticated technology, vehicles from Navaya, Waymo, and Local Motors are able to pick up passengers on demand and take them to their desired destination. Autonomous vehicles are also able to recognize traffic lights and road signs at intersections and act accordingly. But how do they actually do all this? Self-driving cars do not require a driver to get from A to B. The technology in and on the vehicle is the driver. The technology includes many sensors, such as lighter sensors, ultrasonic sensors, cameras, and radar sensors. The sensors are located at the front and the rear of the vehicle. Cameras and LiDAR sensors are also frequently found on the roof. Without them, the vehicle would be virtually blind. LiDAR is a key component in many vehicles. LiDAR works similar to radar. LiDAR, however, does not use radio waves, but many light rays that are reflected by the objects in the surroundings and detected by the LiDAR sensor. In this way, a point cloud is generated from the environment. However, LiDAR does not recognize road signs. Cameras use artificial intelligence to recognize and interpret street signs. Cameras are also used to detect obstacles and are needed for lane keeping. Neither LiDAR nor cameras can handle fog. In this situation, radar is needed for forward collision warning and avoidance. A major disadvantage of radar, however, is that the objects must be large enough to be detected. Pedestrians or cyclists may therefore not be recognized by radar. The exact position of the vehicle is determined by GPS and highly accurate digital maps. Digital maps contain a lot of information, including information such as and speed limits. Since GPS cannot always be guaranteed, for example in tunnels and street canyons, odometry is also necessary. 
For example, the wheel diameter and the wheel speed can be used to estimate the future position of the vehicle. All data from sensors are then combined and processed in one or more processors. NVIDIA, AMD, and other manufacturers offer such chips for autonomous